I think of myself as a shy person. And when I was going out, I did not have like the kind of charisma or like great looks or whatever. So I think I, for some reason, I think I noticed if I dress better, it, it boosts my chances. You know, it's, it's definitely not hurting. I was always a maker of things, so when I used to race bicycles, then I got more into bicycles than actually riding them. I found that there's something called bespoke shoes or handmade shoes. In my mind, the idea was that if I learned shoemaking, I can make these great shoes for myself. Early shoes from like 1900s to the 50s and 60s. In that 50 years, there's everything you ever need to see in footwear to inspire you for a lifetime of shoes. Back then, when you were an illustrator for a shoe catalog, you probably made the shoes look a little bit better to make people want them. And they obviously succeeded, because I look at those drawings and be like, oh yeah, I want, I want shoes to look like that. I like those illustrations that are obviously much more perfect than most leather work, leather being a very unforgiving material. But I think when you have that in your mind and you strive for that, you're definitely gonna get a lot closer than you would than, than if you just dismissed it as a, as a drawing. And I think there's a lot of beauty in striving for that perfection. It looks better than some somebody that wasn't striving for it, even if those two people are of equal skill. There's, you know, there's a beauty in like not quite getting there. Most of the people that buy my shoes, they can, are usually in a position to buy almost whatever they want. So for them to want my shoes, there has to be something special there to make them pick me as their shoemaker of choice. Working with these high-end shoes for 13 years now, you get a bit spoiled. You know what really nice shoes look like and what you want a really nice shoe to look like. So even shoes that are really great shoes, I've seen a lot of them, so it might not give you that, that kick. It's like any addiction, you know, it gets harder and harder to, to get the same excitement that you did in the early days. It becomes so important to you that nothing but the best will, will do. Like it has to be that, otherwise it's not worth your time. That, that's the addiction for it to be better. It's almost like, oh, if it, you know, imagine if I make a better shoe, it's gonna feel even better. It's gonna be, you know, <laughs> everything I've done, I've, I've taken it as far as I can and then in maybe some ways too far. But that's not shoemaking's fault, that's my fault. If I find a record I really like, I listen to it so much that I hate it. The first time I heard it, I felt like this, and you try to f come back to that. And, you know, recreate a moment or, you know, something that made you feel something. You, you just keep, keep trying to get that again. I'm sorry, now I'm not even talking about shoes anymore.